guys welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will look at unique length 3 palindromic subsequences problem which is from lead code number 1930. Let's now look at the problem statement. In this problem given a string s return the number of unique palindromes of length 3 that are subsequence of s. Note that even if there are multiple ways to obtain the same subsequence it is still only counted one time. A palindrome is a string that reads the same uh, forwards and backwards. A subsequence of a string is a new string generated from the original string with some characters deleted without changing the relative order of the remaining characters. For example, ace is a subsequence of the word a, b, c, d, e. Now in the first example, you can see that the string is a, a, b, c, a and the total number of three length unique palindromes is three. And the first palindrome is ABA, second palindrome is AAA, the third palindrome is ACA. Right, uh, there can be multiple ways to form each of these palindromes, but we need to count them only uniquely. Now let's look at the constraint. Uh, if you check the constraint, it is saying 10 to the power of 5. That means we cannot write an n square algorithm. We should write algorithm so that the computations are less than 10 to the power of 8. Now let's look at some idea before we can solve the problem. So how do you check a string to be a palindrome? Let's take a string s and in this case if you are at an ith index and the jth index and you have taken a slice then you can say that this particular string from index i to index j will be a palindrome if the ith index item is equals to the jth index item right so that s at i equals equals s at j and whatever is the substring lying in between this must also be a palindrome so is palindrome s dot substring from i plus 1 to j minus 1 right if this is true then only you can say that the entire string from index i to index j will be a palindrome now for length 3 which actually is the case in our uh, problem statement we need to just check that the first and the third character is the same and you can fill any character in the middle right so we, we just need to make sure of one thing that the first character and the third character is same then it will always be a palindrome you can fill in between anything a or b or c or d or whatever right it will always be a palindrome of length 3 so having seen this let's now see how to form the palindrome using the each unique character let's say that our given string is of five uh, characters and now in this case if I have to find out the total number of palindromes that we can have of length 3 then I need to check all the palindromes that starts with a all the palindromes that starts with b and so on till all the palindromes that starts with z because the problem statement already mentions that s contains only lowercase english letters so we know that the palindrome can start with all these characters from a to z so to 26 options in total so if in this given example i have to count how many three length unique palindromes are present uh, starting with a then you can easily count it will be a b a and also a a a all the rest of the palindrome uh, starting with a will always be duplicate you can check out this a b a this is the same as this a b a right therefore uh, they will all be duplicates so starting with a we have two palindromes now let's check uh, the palindrome starting with b you just have one palindrome b a b and that's all now starting with c so c is not present in the string so you cannot have any uh, palindrome if the character itself is not present and similarly for all the characters from c to z uh, the count will be zero so the total number of palindromes that we have in this case of length 3 which are all unique is equals to count 3 right so these are all these three palindromes so we must remember that the total palindrome will be the addition of the palindromes that you can form with a b c and so on till z right now the next point is how to maximize the palindrome now let's take an example the string one containing six characters a b c a d a now in this case if i ask you about what are the total count of palindromes formed by a then you cannot just go ahead and start generating the palindrome that will definitely not be uh, in order of n it will definitely be order of n square and e even more so what we can think here is uh, we can take this a and the a at index 3 and find out all the unique characters in the middle so how many unique characters are there b and c so i can start with a at index 0 and end with a at index 3 and i can 
आई कैन टेक एनी वन ऑफ दिस यूनिक कैरेक्टर्स एज ए बी ए और ए सी ए सो वी माइट थिंक दैट द अकाउंट ऑफ पैलेंड्रोम स्टार्टिंग विद ए विल बी टू हियर एंड ऑल्सो आई कैन पिक दिस इंडेक्स थ्री एज द स्टार्ट पॉइंट एंड फाइव एज द एंड पॉइंट एंड आई कैन टेक ऑल द यूनिक कैरेक्टर्स इन द मिडिल एंड एड प्लस वन फॉर इट लाइक वी वी जस्ट हैव वन कैरेक्टर राइट सो आई विल एड प्लस वन सो द टोटल काउंट विल कम आउट टू बी थ्री बट दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट एक्चुअली वॉट वी आर मिसिंग हियर इज वी आर मिसिंग दिस ए ए ए राइट दिस इज मिसिंग सो इन ऑर्डर टू कंपनसेट फॉर दैट वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज वी डू नॉट जस्ट रैंडमली पिक एनी पेयर बट वी विल ऑलवेज बी पिकिंग द फर्स्ट अकरेंस ऑफ दिस कैरेक्टर ए एंड द लास्ट अकरेंस ऑफ दिस कैरेक्टर ए बिकॉज ए कैन ऑल्सो कंट्रीब्यूट इन द मिडिल to form a three length palindrome right so just consider the first uh, a and the last a and uh, in in between whatever characters are present you just make a count of unique characters that is equals to four year b c a d are all unique characters so now a's total contribution will be four palindromes of length 3 you can make a b a you can make a c a you can make a a a and a d a right so if you pick the start point to be 0 and the end point to be 5 the palindrome count will come out to be 4 okay so it is greedily always optimal to take the first occurrence of the unique character and the last occurrence of the unique character we will not bother about any more occurrences in the middle because everything will be counted if i take just the first and the last right now if i take the second string so in this case i have seven characters a b c a b d now if i ask you about count the uh, total number of palindromes which are given by b which starts with b so in this case with the same logic i will take the leftmost b and the rightmost b what are the indices 1 and 6 how many unique characters are occurring in between four unique characters c a b d four unique characters therefore the palindrome count contribution by b of length 3 will be equals to 4 so b's contribution will be 4 to the count If I ask you for a, what will be the contribution? The leftmost a is at index zero. The rightmost a is at index three. And how many unique characters are in 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 between these two? Two unique characters. So the contribution of a will be two. Already we know for b we have four contribution. For c, what will be the contribution? You see that the start and the end, that means the leftmost and the rightmost index are the same because this has just one occurrence, right? So in this particular case. we cannot form any palindrome and therefore it will uh, return zero and the same reason goes for d the leftmost and the rightmost index are same so we cannot form a palindrome and for e f g h and so on it will all be zero because they are not even present in the string so the total number of palindromes of length 3 which are unique and we can form from all the characters from a to z will be 6 here right so i hope you have understood the greedy approach of maximizing the palindrome Once you have understood this, let's now see how to handle the duplicates. So let's take another string, uh, which are having eight characters. And in this particular case, if I ask you about find the uh, length three unique palindromes which are starting with A, so that will be answered by all the unique characters between the leftmost and the rightmost A. This we already know. So the leftmost A is at index zero. The rightmost A is at index seven. How many unique characters are present? so the number of unique characters are b c a and we don't have any other unique character so there are three number of unique characters therefore all the unique palindromes of length 3 that starts with a is equals to 3 with the same concept we can also find all the uh, unique palindrome of length 3 starting with b so find the leftmost index of b the rightmost index of b and find out the unique characters in between so two unique characters same reason goes for c the leftmost c is at index 2 the rightmost c is at index 6 how many unique characters are there in the middle a b c 3 so the palindrome count for c will be 3 d is not present e is not present and no other characters are present so all of them will be zero count right so the total number of length 3 unique palindromes that we can form is 8 in this particular example and this is how we handle duplicates in order to handle duplicate once i know the start and the end i can push all these characters into a set so you can take a set of character type and you can push all these characters in between into the set and then uh, take the 
set size if you take the set size then it will always return uh, the unique characters right so that will be equals to the count simply now let's apply all our concepts that we have seen together on a example and do a dry run so we will take a string of uh, nine characters i will be taking a map this is an unordered map so that all the insertions and lookups will be theta of one time uh, so this is the average time the worst case time will still be order of n in this case so in this case the first parse will be about recording the first and the last occurrence and once we are done with that then in the second parse we will be counting the palindromes so let's do the first parse now when i'm seeing an a the a entry is not present in the map so i will create an entry of a and i will push the start and end in a pair and assign them the exact same value and then i will go to b now b's entry is not present so i'll create an entry for b and assign the start and end with the same exact index i'll go to c c's entry is not present and i will be assigning 2 comma 2 as the start and end value now i will again go to a now a's entry is present so since this a must have occurred later so i will be overwriting the end value to 3 now i will be going to b b is present so i'll be overwriting the value to 4 d is not present so i'll be writing 5 comma 5 c c is present so i'll be overwriting the end value to 6 again another c so i'll be overwriting the value to 7 and then we have another a so i'll be overwriting the end value to 8 so we are done writing everything so the first parse is done and we have recorded the first and the last occurrence of every unique character that has occurred in the string now i will be doing our second parse but this parse will be done on all the unique characters in order to find out the palindrome count contribution by each of the unique characters so if i see this a then a's a start and end points are different right so this means that it can form valid palindromes so a is starting at 0 and ending at 8 then i need to find out the count of all the unique characters from 1 to 7 that means 0 plus 1 to 8 minus 1 so how to find this you can find this by pushing all this into a set so if you push all this into a set b comma c comma a comma d these will be the four unique characters that you will find so the set size will be returning four therefore our count will be initially zero and the four will be added and our count will become four now i will be going uh, for the next unique character which is b now b is starting at one and ending at four so if you find out all the unique characters between one and four it will be ca and the set size will give you two so that is why two will be added and this will become six for c it is starting at two and ending at uh, seven so two to seven if you find out all the unique characters from three to six which is between two and seven it will be a b d c which are all unique and therefore four count will be added and so it will become 10 now we go to d the start and the end point is same this means this is the same character and it cannot contribute to the palindrome so we will be skipping this and then we are done parsing all the unique occurrences of the character and whatever is the count is our final uh, total count of unique palindromes of length 3 so i hope you were able to understand this in this case we did one parse over the entire string of length n so that will be order of n because i am considering that all the uh, push and lookup in the map is order of one time and then the second parse was done over all the unique characters which cannot exceed more than 26 size right so we can take it constant time therefore the time complexity will be order of n and the space complexity for the map is also order of n because the map size cannot have more than 26 entries right so i hope you are able to understand this let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the string s and i will be finding the number of characters step one is to get the first and last occurrences of each uh, character 
so i will be taking a map defining first and last so i will iterate for each of the character and if that entry is not present in the map then i will insert an entry assigning the uh, first and the second value to be i that means let's say if character c was not present then it will be in the key part and the value part will be having the index i comma i if this is the first entry right and if it is not the first entry but it has already occurred then only the second value will be updated to the new index because the first value is for the first occurrence and the second value is for the last occurrence right so that is why we will just be overwriting the second value once we are done recording all the first and the last occurrences then in step 2 we will be finding all the unique elements count in the range so i will be going through the entire map one by one and check out the entry and find out all the unique uh, characters from i plus 1 to j minus 1 all the unique characters and we can actually push all those characters into a unordered set and get the size of it so that will be added into our count of palindrome and finally we will be returning the account of palindrome as our answer so i hope you were able to understand this if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you